Hi everyone, this video will be in two parts. So first part is going to be a bit boring. It's just going to be me sitting back garden, just talking about what you get with a bike when you buy it. Probably going to take about 10 minutes just going through all parts and stuff. So if you're not bored about that and you just want to watch me riding, just have a look in the description bit below. I'll probably be about 10 minutes in, but I'll pop a little link on there for when I'm uh, getting into riding. But if you do want to watch it all, good luck. It's probably going to be quite a long one with me talking a little bit of a wish but yeah if you're thinking about getting this bike hopefully this video will help you make a decision hi everyone a bit of a different video from usual today because i'm in it and i'm talking i won't usually do a video like this but i've bought a new bike it's just turned up just got out of the box set it all up and everything so just thought i'd post a quick video and i'm gonna ride it all that sort of stuff and just let you know how i'll get on with it so thought i'd do this video just because when I were buying this bike, I had a look all over the internet. I think there were one guy I could find that had done a review on it. You know, I think he'd got like early access to it or whatever, I don't know. He'd been sent a bike. It weren't the normal spec that you can buy, so I bought it without much information on it. But hopefully, it weren't a bad decision. So here we go. Right, so here it is. As I say, on one, hello Dave, it's 29 inch steel frame. Um, first thoughts when I got it out of the box were, I can't believe how low the seat is. So when it seats down, it looks more like a jump bike to me. I think it's quite hard to see what the bike is actually like. But if you imagine they're 29 inch wheels, you might get a bit of a picture. So it's a big bike. So that's if I put the seat up. Comes with a proper rock shop reverb wrapper on it, which is good. I think once the seat's up, it looks more like a proper bike shape. Um, main thing on this bike is it's got a 62 degree head angle. I think I'm right in saying, which is pretty much one of the slackest hardtails, if not the slackest you can get. So when I was looking online, um, trying to find out like information on it, trying to read reviews, anything like that couldn't really find much, and loads of people slagging it off saying no, oh, you know, it's not going to be able to climb, it's a stupid design, blah blah blah, it's heavy. And then when you look into it properly, you realise that all these people with all these sort of comments about it, it's just people that have seen it online, they've not actually got it. When you find comments from people that have got the bike, they all seem to be good, so hopefully I've not made a bad decision. Right, quick run through up parts, I'll start from top and work my way down. So handlebars, on one enduro six, uh, on one stem, headset, uh, selka, whatever that is. Um, I think I'll be swapping handlebars and stem straight away just because I've got some spares in garage that are, you know, they've not got writing all over them and stuff like that. So I think they look a bit better, some race face bars, I think they are. Uh, grips it comes with, well, I've already scuffed end of that one up, but. They're just like nothing, sort of plasticky, lock on grips, I suppose they'll do a job. Then you can get whatever you want. So brakes, uh, I absolutely fucking hate SRAM brakes. There's nothing worse than SRAM brakes. I absolutely despise them. I think on my last bike I had them for about two months, ended up cutting them off, I hated them that much. But these ones are SRAM Guide RE. I think I had SRAM Guide R before, so I think they were bottom specs. So hopefully RE are a bit better. I think they've got these winders here you can adjust your reach on them uh, i think re stands for e-bike apparently uh, so they've got re calipers don't know if you can see that down there uh, apparently the sham code calipers or something i've been reading online i don't know anything about them so i'll leave it at that but apparently they're supposed to be good so i'll give it another go uh what we've got for shifter so we've got sham gx eagle uh, Again, looking online, there's people complaining, saying, all right, spec with GX, but it doesn't actually come with full GX, but there we go, we've got the Sham GX shifter, down to the GX cranks. We've got an Eagle front chain ring, I think 32 tooth. Sham GX rear mech, and then it's got a, I think it's 11 to 52 Sham cassette on it. So, I don't know why people keep saying it's not all Sham GX, because it is. Uh, pedals, edge mail pedals, what I've already got. It don't come with pedals, so just a heads up if anyone doesn't know about that. It's pretty standard on all bikes there. So, <coughs> saddle. It looks more like a road bike saddle to me. 
Silly uh, San Marco Monza. Looks alright, looks quite lightweight, but I'm not took it off and felt however it is. But that comes on a proper rock shop reverb, 175mm dropper. So that's decent that on this sort of bike. Um a little bonus comes with a proper rock shop reverb trigger rather than the press thing, so I've not had one of them before, so that's good. What else we got? Um Oh yeah, obviously the fork. So it comes with a proper rock shock pipe fork in it. I think it's probably the base version. So rock shock pipe selects. It's got charger on there, debonair. Uh, not sure. Oh yeah, some adjustment down there. So we've got rebound adjustment on it. So we've got rock shock pipe on river bike. Get on well with that, and I'm sure that's probably at bottom spoke rock shock pipe as well. So. I'm happy with that, that one of the main reasons that I bought this bike, proper fork on it. Um, so wheels, 29er obviously, uh, Alex Rims EXR30, don't know anything about them, comes on some hubs that, force hubs or something, I don't know. Online it said that they were decent enough hubs, so there you go, we've got 29er wheels. Um, so this bike, I think it retails at 1700 quid, which is good for your spec that you get. However, there was an offer on it when I bought it, so it was 300 quid off. So all this bike is 1400 quid, brand new. To say you can't get older in our tail, at all pretty much this year because of Corona, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I'm looking at other bikes, what we're looking at. Looking at a Ragley Umbop, Orange, uh, you know, stuff like that, Commensal and the ones we expect that's similar to this you know you're talking sort of two grand probably not two grand 1800 900 quid ones for this price bracket basically 1400 quid you know you're getting an half decent bike but there were loads of stuff on it that i wanted to swap that were like good but not amazing but this it looks like hopefully it will be sort of up there it's got the right kit on it for me anyway you know, handlebars and stuff like that I can swap over, but all the expensive bit like reverb dropper, eagle setup and the rock shop pike, they're your sort of areas where main cost is and yeah, they're all good for me. So uh oh yeah, final thing on it. So as I say it ran off uh, on one knocked three hundred quid off for it. But I think they were a little bit cheeky when they did that because they also changed the spec of the tyres, but they didn't really say anything. However, when I was reading online, I think the original tyres that it comes with are something like Snap Flow, e-bike, super grippy, you know, soft compound, downhill tyres. Which to me, it doesn't make any sense why you'd put that on an hardtail. I mean, I know it is an aggressive hardtail, it is pretty much like a hardtail downhill bike, but still. You know, if you want tyres like that, you're going to put them on a downhill bike or at least a full suspension sort of boot travel bike, not on an hard tail. So, even though they have been a bit cheeky, I don't know much about these tyres. They are, what are they? Pan Racer Fire Sport 29 by 2.35. They look like they're a lot more easy rolling than the other ones that had come in that spec. So, for me, that's a bonus. I was going to swap them out straight away, but you know, now for a good set of tyres, you're looking at 80 quid if they're on offer, 100 quid front and rear, just a bit of a piss state really, but yeah, I'll stick with these and see how we get on with it for now. Right, so just a quick close up, just if anyone's bothered. There we go, I've got, it's in stealth black this colour, so you've got on one logo at the front, it says on one down the side there. Hello Dave, it says on there, and then that's just your sort of steel spec I think it is though what you call that uh, for anyone that don't know this is not actually on one bike this is a sick bicycles bike or sick bike company whatever you want to call it uh, if you don't know about them just give them a google they basically ripped everyone off they took all the money for these bikes had them made up and then they never paid for them so the factory that made all these bike frames were out of pocket sick bikes didn't pay up Everyone who'd bought a bike through Sick Bike lost some money and on one jumped on it and they bought the frames and 
here it is so <laughs> hopefully it's uh, worked out in my favour so unlucky if anyone did spend the money on a sick bike but you know there we go right here we are then finally time for a test run uh, bikes been set in gauge since Friday and it's now Sunday morning so I've been itching to get out but here it is um, I've raised the seat up a little bit so it don't feel like your sat as low down so that's good I think I've uh, got it to the right level now like I said before about the bars and stay we've swapped them over um, all this cable in here it was sort of you know not threaded around frame so I've sorted all that out I think I've got everything set up to suit me so here we go let's have a little run down hill see what it's like right so I'm gonna have to go a bit steady down here because this is the first time I've been on a hardtail for a good couple of years uh, you know definitely feels different I'm nearly coming off at the bottom coming off at track I'm nearly a dog <laughs> Right, I'll just go steady around this bit. <laughs> Cheers. Right. <laughs> so that's not an ideal start, but yeah, this bit here is really sort of steep and off camber. And <sighs> it's probably quite difficult because it's really tight all the way around it. I'm going to get used to these 29 wheels, I think I've probably got a bit too much pressure and even though I've got about 25 PSI I need to feel my back end skipping about but that's probably just me needing to get used to riding an hardtail bike <laughs> Right, so there is a jump here but I think I might around it just for this session because uh, so far <laughs> been a bit skippy sort of pedalling and maxing out and I could definitely go harder but it's feeling good all the way down there first time I've been down all it there so it felt good I think definitely I mean I socked bars and grips and stuff over. I took these grips off because they were too thin on my other bike and I can tell now my hands I'm just like gripping on so hard I need big fat grips but I suppose that's just my own preference in anything so if I get some bigger grips on I'll definitely feel better but yeah so far it's feeling good uh, I had a bit of a pedal uphill just on the road to get here and something I was worried about was it won't feel much different from my full suspension bike but again up that bit that's just quite steep I don't know if you can see on the video but I mean it's certainly better at climbing than my full suspension bike even though it's a YT Jeffsy my full suspension so you know I don't really have any problems climbing on that either but I was just wondering if maybe I've not seen much of a difference um, in sort of you know, the ability to go on longer rides, do climbs easier like you'd expect from a hardtail on this bike, but so far it's feeling good. Right, there's another section coming up here. Uh, just heard some voices, so... Yeah. Alright. <laughs> so yeah, I was just other people on bikes, knocking about. But this bit is really sort of loose and rough. The yeah, alley brakes are not great at the minute. Oh, quick brakes were better in a bit after this. <laughs> Definitely feels planted 
downhill there. I mean, I know it's nothing too wild, but you know, you can tell you're not too far in front of it. If you could definitely go quicker, it's just I need to get a bit of confidence up before I really go for it. I keep seeing people asking questions, saying, you know, what's it like pedaling on flat? What's it like uphill? So, so far, I've only been across this midfield, but but I've been up road as well, but on flat, it seems spot on. You know, I can't notice that it's a weird shaped bike or anything like that. It's got a 150mm fork on front of it, but as long as you've got that set up all right, it shouldn't stop you from pedaling. So I've come to River Valley. Uh, I, probably, I know all these trails, probably my eyes shut to be fair. I've done a few more videos here. Uh, but yeah, it's probably the best place for me to test ride a new bike just because I know the trails so well. So all these trails were built by the Rapid Valley riders. And um, if you're near Sheffield, you check them out if you want someone to ride with. But yeah, it's a good place just to, you know, come a couple of laps of trails and test ride a bike. Definitely need to get better at jumping on that tail. Oh. So what I have noticed is I keep sort of, you know, nearly washing out of the front wheel. Uh, probably down to pressure or maybe it's 29 inch wheels, but this is a really loose trail. So. I could probably do having to play about a bit, tire pressure's a bit more. But once I've got my bike set up tubeless, I'll do that. So I say it comes with tubes and I don't have time to do that yet. But I mean, going down this bit so far, you can feel my tires slipping about, but still, it feels nice. You know, I know that trail, I know that it's an easy trail, however, it's quite hard, even on a full suspension bike, just to keep it going. Right, right so I'll try this climb. It's probably a bit too overgrown. But yeah, I don't like speaking for people. But um, yeah, I mean, I could sort of feel my tyres skidding about all the way down there. I could maybe let some air out, I might give it a go. Um, but once I've got set up tubeless and like I showed before, these tyres don't really know what sort of tyres are meant to be. You've got to feel like sort of grippy, downhill, cross country or what. But um, yeah, I'm just noticing that I can feel my front tyre washing out a little bit, so I'll have a play about with that. But oh god, it's a bit overgrown this. I'm trying to. <laughs> Plow through anyway. <sighs> yeah, this climb to be fair, it's quite easy on this bike. It's quite a steep, tough climb, so it's all looking good so far. Okay, so this first run in is definitely going to be mega, mega steady. It's all tight switchbacks, a couple of jumps and stuff. It's already feeling pretty quick. <laughs> I think it's weird to me not having any rear suspension because I don't know, it just feels like you sort of boost around all these turns a lot quicker. I suppose you probably do. <laughs> Something that you can probably hear on video. Uh, getting some good chain slapping on your chain stays. I already knew about that to be fair. You know, I should have put some tape or something over it. But I forgot until so I got out and then obviously did it for myself. But it's too late to do it now. But yeah, that first run down there felt, felt nice. I think my biggest issue I've got at the minute is these thin handlebar grips but I should have known about that before right I'll have another run now just taking a touch 
Yeah, I'll let the tyres just see if I can get that confidence up just a little bit more. See if I can maybe make them tabletops this time because to be fair, it's a lot easier getting used to it like this than I expected. Oh, I mean, that bit there is usually a lot smoother, but still, these tight moves. Oh, just sort of floating round at me. Yeah, feels good. Feels like you're going up at full up. I think I'll still get this last little gap jumper miss though, so just I'm not making excuses up, but uh, just so I get these fat grips on my bars because my hands are killing on these thin ones. Right, we go again. Already in top gear. This time rather than starting it feel. So that last run down, I managed to get the tables alright, they were nice and smooth, but it was just this little sort of double up here that I don't know, it's usually quite easy but uh, that's it. Yeah last time it just seems to well you've not got that new suspension to spring off or Makes them all a little bit harder. Ooh. If them tabletops there, it's just absolutely flying over them. And these tight berms, I'm well impressed. Like I've probably said a million times, I thought we'd be such a long bike. I'm going to have trouble with stuff like that. And I think I don't know how many climbs I've done now. I think it might be about four, but you know, there's a big steep sort of gravel track you've got to climb once you get to the top of this hill. And it's just easy. <laughs> so, so far, cross fingers. I think I've definitely made the right choice for this bike. Right, I'm gonna have another run down here because the last run was the first time going down there on it. Well since I've been here so I feel like I've got my eye a little bit more now. Definitely better with less pressure I've just dropped a bit more out down at the bottom. It's just taken away that sort of stiffer feel. I feel like I've got a lot more grip now. Feels a lot smoother over them bumpy bits. Still really loose there. Coming through all these bumps. <laughs> So we're walking that trail. Oh, now we've got another squish dog. <laughs> Little cheeky water bottle filler. I've heard that there's a new blue room around here. I can see those little signs on trees there saying blue. So I've not seen it yet, so I'm just gonna go and have a look see what that's like. Now I'm thinking that if I could be bothered I'd go back and film it all again and now I've let that last little bit of pressure out of my tires because it feels so much better now because I've got grip. It feels like, I'm not sure if that's that bit. Yeah I've got grip, it doesn't feel as harsh or bumpy or anything like that. It feels like it is spot on. Oh no, I can't so blue. It looks like this but yeah. So I've never been down here before. Obviously it's a blue trail so there's not going to be anything to it but it's worth just having a quick look, see what's what.
Yes, yeah, so what I've not mentioned is uh, this Eagle cassette, well, Eagle setup. It feels super smooth, it feels really, really nice. Like I've got 11 speed on my other bike, this is 12 speed now. I am having to get used to the you know, change and find it right sort of point in the gears, but straight out of the box, I've done nothing to it. It's been super smooth all the way, it's been perfect, so I am really pleased with that. Oh, a little jump. <laughs> I sound like an old woman there. Oh, another, another jump. <laughs> Don't know if that's supposed to be there. I'm going to have to come back and have a go at that. Right, so them jump, well, that jump that I saw, uh, I've just walked up, there's another full trail. It's definitely not been built by Robber Valley because these jumps, they do look a bit shit, to be honest. They're all sort of like super steep. It, they don't really look great, to be honest, but I miss this black arrow here. If you follow it round, I think I've just come down here and I might not have, I don't know. I think I went that way. If you turn this way, <laughs> someone's put their own little sign up. It says the Rotten Wood Expert Riders Only. And there's a black diamond there, so <laughs> I'll have a look see <laughs> where it is. I think I'll have a look at a couple of these jumps, but <laughs> Some of them just looked absolutely horrendous, so like this one here. That one's fine, but that one, it's not even <laughs> not better than it, it just looks like a pile of dust. That one there looks a bit dodgy. Little table. <laughs> I think there's another dodgy one here that I'm gonna go around. Oh no, that's not what I'm supposed to do. Right, I'll go again. That's not one of the old drowned, just looked like a pile of dust, but this one down here. It doesn't look so bad, but it's still not great, but I'm still getting a um, shit in my pants there. <laughs> yeah, so that actually sends you into the next corner a little bit quickly. Look at these little sharp thin looking things. <laughs> okay, I might have got a bit sidetracked there when I uh, found those little jumps, but uh, never seen it before. Now I come riding around here quite a lot, so. There you go. Well, yeah, back to it back then. Um, well, it's the end of the video, I'm going to go home now. Uh, I mean, it's not really fair to do like a review because I've only been out for a couple of hours. Oh, it's more, it's got more kids. Yeah, that's it. It's not fair to do like a review because I've only had a couple of hours riding bike. Uh, there's some bits I still need to change, like my handlebar grips, need some fatter ones than that. Uh, need to set up tubeless as well. But so far, I'd say everything is positive. Okay, I'm back home now. Um, I got a bit sidetracked playing on them little jumps that I'd found. And uh, I got back up to the top, got a normal track. I was just talking about sort of my first initial thoughts on the bike and then my battery run out. So it's annoying, but never mind, it happens. Uh, so yeah, so after my first ride, initial thoughts were all good. Um, I've just been looking on Strava, I think I did something like 1600 foot of climbing, maybe a little bit more. Uh, two and a bit hours riding, about 13, 14 miles, something like that. Uh, you know, it didn't feel any more difficult than you'd expect on a normal bike. So yeah, it's all good. So my initial thoughts are, uh, brakes don't seem too bad to so say much hate them. I think Pads needed bedding in a bit more, but never mind. Uh, tyres, they seem absolutely fine. And these uh, hand racer fire sport. I let a bit of air out twice. The second time I let a bit of air out, they definitely felt a lot better. And to be fair, I think I'm still pretty solid. But my pump said it was 25 psi when I set off, and I've let air out twice. But I think, to be honest, once I've set it up tubeless, I'll mess about with that and get all that sorted. Um, what else? Yeah, dropper feels mint. It's obviously brand new, all working good. Gears, they feel good. I think that it's got a bigger range than I'm used to, so I'm sort of going downhill. You're going to set off again, and if you're pointing slightly uphill, you just can't spin it in highest gear. So, you know, you're having to like lift back end up and do it on your own. But I'll get used to that anyway once I'm convert and ride it back a bit. Uh, one thing I will say is before I set off, I set all my forks up as they should be, I think sag was something like 17% of, I don't really know. 
uh, look at this so at some point in that video I did use almost all my travel so I don't know when that was but I've not been over anything that should use that much travel so while I was riding I thought well, I'm gonna have to put some tokens in I thought well there's no tokens in the box nothing came with the bike but I've realized as it's debonair I believe that might be a spring because I can't see anywhere that you can undo it and put any tokens or anything in there so it looks like I'll have to have a look see if you can make any more adjustments or see if I just need to put a bit more air in it or something but they feel absolutely mint though folks I know they're gonna because they are brand new but you know just sort of every like bump and everything 150 mil traveling on our tail it just seems to work perfect um, I think I might do a review video like after a couple of months I might not see what happens I'll put more videos on just to me riding it anyway but yeah if you've got this far then cheers for watching and if you watch my video because you were thinking of buying one uh, I'd definitely say go for it so far I'm very happy with it